I'm the Duke of New York and everyone, and this is Cortex Command. I think it's like build 27 I'm on right now. Um, I talked about this on the podcast a bit, and I loved it so much that I'm going to record the tutorial. I'm actually going to ignore the tutorial part. I go to gun this guy up. Alright, Cortex Command. I command you. Ah, uh, this is this. And if you pay attention when I reload, I drop a clip. It's kind of neat. It's right there, and I can, you know, shoot it and break it. But basically, theoretically, oh, see, I dropped it again. Um, if you have like a machine gun, the shells can fall out and um, build up after a while. Bullets break things. Now I know what you're wondering, what's that all about? Well that thing is, um, it's actually a stack of gold. I should have been shooting it. I should have been mining it with a mining laser. <coughs> Which, I can also dig through this bunker with, but it's a super light one so it's going to take forever. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that delicious gold. And you have a jetpack. You don't really jump in this game, you have a jetpack. Which I think is better than jumping, personally. Uh, anyways, it's a neat little game. I'm a, I'm that brain. This is who I am. And I can switch between units control one at a time. I can tell him to do stuff. Like I can tell this guy to, uh, gold dig. So he'll search for gold and try to dig. However, there's literally no gold around him. So he's just gonna start digging down. Which is through the bunker, which isn't really good, but... You know, whatever. Well, this is an obstacle course, and uh, that's supposed to be like a ladder, and your guy can crawl up it. I've had some bad experiences with ladders, and so I'm not necessarily a huge fan. Guys, get up. Arr. I can also... Ow. <laughs> I can also crouch walk and go under stuff. It's a pretty neat game. It's pretty open. It's pretty hip. Well now, of course, I've just shown you dummies and some basic stuff. I haven't shown you the big guns. I haven't shown you the stuff that makes you go, whoa, this is a neat game. First of all, I'm going to pick up this and I'm going to shoot this guy's legs off. Now, I know what you're saying. What? Legs? Yes. Legs. Oh, lost one. Lost two. Now that being said, he can still jetpack around, and so sometimes there'll be a unit that like walks on a mine or something. Yeah, that's him automatically destroying all enemies on sight. And so, no, bad. I'm gonna tell you to stop. Oh, oops. I'm gonna tell you to stop mining. Go to sentry mode, because he's just gonna start going about my bank base and trying to mine the walls in the search for gold. Hee 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 ha. But the gold AI is pretty good. It'll search for gold but it doesn't, you know, know when to stop or where a battle zone is. So you should probably, you know, not let them. Oh yeah, this is the buy menu. So I'm going to stop talking about not letting AI go off on their own. And I'm going to... Okay, I kind of cheated a little bit here. This guy costs minus a thousand, so if I buy him I get a thousand gold ounces, I think is what the currency is. And that's just so I could um, kind of cheat a little bit and give myself stuff. And I'm going to get or I'm going to show you the basic ways of getting your units into the battlefield. So you pick a body and you pick a gun. And I'm going to go with something redonk. This is a redonk weapon. All right, this is a drop crate, which is incredibly simple. And as you can tell, I can only drop in this limited area. Like I'm mousing over to the right, but it's not letting me go over there. That's because I want to go ahead and call that in. It takes like 3 seconds. That's the li area is limited to where your brain is, or unless the map has something specific. Whoa, that's a drop crate, and eventually it will just detonate itself. And this is like a pretty, this is a light heavy soldier. I don't know if that makes a ton of sense, but that's what it is. It's a light version of a heavy soldier. And uh, here's this thing. I know what you're thinking, Duke, is that a missile? Nope, that's a chainsaw. That weapon fires rocket propelled chainsaws. <laughs> It's going. Boom. Detonates. 
That's I think that's pretty intense. All right, let's go over here. You can fight the crab. There's a crab over here in the tutorial level. Le level, eh? I don't even know what it's doing there, but that's what's there. All right, so there's that. There's that gun, and I'm gonna show you. Um, I don't know. That's my favorite, honestly. There's also the uber cannon. And I'm going to show you the basic rocket. There's a more advanced rocket, but all it is is more armor. Pretty much, it's the same thing. And so, three, two, one, and it'll um come down here. It'll try to land. I'm showing the AI. Um, it'll drop it and it'll take off and go back. However, I don't want to show you that. I want to show you something else about, also about this game. Rocket! <laughs> Even though it's a transport vessel and theoretically should never be used as a weapon, you can do that. You can control directly control transport ships basically just to fly into things. And now the Uber Cannon's incredibly heavy, so it takes my guy a while to get up. Because the backpack, the jetpack's done on weight. Oh, no, calm down, guy. Calm down. I have a little arc here because it's an arcing weapon. Uber cannon. I destroyed that Dreadnought's armor. Ab completely. Um, that's an automatic door. I don't know if I have any in here. I don't. But basically, when, an, when one of their units walks by that door, it'll open. But not for my guys. And if you can play close attention, I don't know if you guys can see this because the YouTube video is going to look different than this. Around here, that's a little, it's a little, it's not straight up and down. That's because I broke the top one, actually, so now I just need a guy to go in there and knock it over. And that, that's just, that's what it should look like, and that's that. So that's the Uber Cannon, and that's the standard rocket ship. Uber. Ow. Nope. Okay. The Dreadnought's still alive. It's still alive. Reload. Faster. Fast. Nope. Gun broke. He shot my gun, so he broke it. So now he has no gun. Alright, and that guy's dying. So I'm just gonna spray. Bullets also lose damage over time. And will fall. Alright, now I need to get this guy, because now he's actually coming towards me. If you pay attention but behind my the AK-47 guy, you might see little dots flying past the screen. That's the shells I was referring to earlier. And so, I've destroyed that Dreadnought's armor, so I'm doing damage to it directly. Awesome, I'm dead. Now if you look closely, you can see that there's a little pile of stuff here, and here, and under this guy. Which, he might actually, just by walking on it. You can break some stuff just by walking on it. But, oh, no. Jet, jetpack, stop. Yes. Jetpack physics take a little bit to get used to, but definitely bursts is a lot better than just all at once. But yeah, that was the shells from this gun falling out behind him. But um, yeah, some stuff, like, some characters are so heavy they break stuff. And if you pay attention to those plants, my guy just decimates them. Just by walking through them. They're gone. He's heavy. Alright, so that's um, the drop crate, which can go down and not come back. That's the rocket, which... I mean, it comes down and drops your unit, but if it returns back safely, just if it just flies straight up, um, you'll get your money back, basically. Which is pretty nice, but you can use it as a weapon and you'll lose all the money on it, though. But it's still awesome. And now, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you the, the flak cannon, because I use that a lot. And I'm going to use um, a dropship. Oh my... Yeah, I have, have it all selected. Alright, you can only do the buy menu from s units. But, I mean, I can't just float around. I have to have a unit selected. Like, I'm holding down the switch unit key to do that. Alright, and I'm going to get you to the front lines. So I'm going to go and fly this guy on over. Ah, breaking is hard in this game. It's hard, it's hard, it's hard. <laughs> Sometimes you'll get caught and stuff. But the way the engine's set up right now, you can get caught and stuff and be fine. If you're a dropship. And if I'll unselect it... Whoa, why did he blow up? Oh. Because he had a flat cannon and fired at point blank range. It's not smart. If you look at the top of the screen, it says uh, return craft plus money added to funds. But yeah, um... 
I missed completely. The flat can only holds two rounds and takes a little while to reload. And I'll show you why. First of all, it's super awesome against aircraft, as you might guess, because it's called a flat cannon. And... Alright, now you might not be able to notice it, because I'm up point-blank range. Because that looks just like a shotgun, basically. That's a shotgun blast. However, if you go a bit far away, what it does is it's, um... Let's see if I can show this. It's a shell until it re... Oh, I blew him up. I didn't mean to do that. Well, I win. I look Cortex Command and I won. But yeah, it's a shell, but once it gets close enough to an object, it'll, um, it'll break apart and turn into a shotgun-type blast. Like that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm the Duke of New York, and I beat Cortex Command. Yay!